Okay, here we are in Phoenix at Ping, and we've got uh, uh, Mike Nicolette, who, um, just like Marty Jertson, I said, uh, it's nice to have people on the design team with an engineering knowledge or whatever, but when you have uh, somebody that has a player's background behind it and as a former tour winner, uh, I think that adds a lot of validity to the design team and what you come out with, and it shows in the product. Well, along those lines, Greg, you know, we... I, I agree with you. Uh, it, it's nice that no matter what industry you're in, is that the designers, the ones that are you know thinking up the conceptual ideas, really know how to uh, to utilize a product, and so they can tell if it's good or bad pretty much right out of the box. And that's been a, a real benefit here at Ping. You know, with, we've got Marty. We have a lot of very good players here at Ping, and um, you know, obviously with with all the knowledge that that's been handed down over the years from Karsten and now to John, and and John, you know, be tutoring you know the the engineers here on on different designs. Uh, benefits and, and why things react the way they do you know we're all learning as we go and uh, and we're getting better well we're going to talk about an exciting new product and that's the wedges uh, I've seen them when you guys see them you'll be impressed watch the guys hit them uh, they sound good they look good but give us a little bit of what you were trying to come out with well uh, we all know that, that when it comes to wedge play, especially with your smaller shots, I'm going to talk like 50 yards and in, is that, that the more consistent you can be with uh, the trajectory and the amount of spin that's imparted on the ball, then we start to build confidence and, and we can start to play a lot of different shots out on the golf course. We know how the ball is going to react. We can start to hit the ball closer. So one of the key factors, and I want to say the key factor to this new Torres Gorge Groove Wedge, is the groove itself. And the nice thing about it is it, it's a machining process that we do here at Ping, and so we can control the process from start to finish on how this groove is put into the face of the golf club. And um, we are, we're taking the basically the, the rule uh, up to the limit, and we're able to hold uh, very, very tight tolerances, I mean, like almost zero uh, with uh, with this new technology that we have so we can put the very very best performing groove in the club and know there's going to be conforming each time and that that's what's allowing us now to basically hand that that benefit off to the consumer is that you know we've done our homework here with the operations as far as the machining uh, we have a very proprietary process as far as the cutter and the way that the, the, the groove is milled into the face and it the benefits going to be that the consumer is going to be able to have more more consistent spin and trajectories and they're going to be able to play more confident wedge shots into the green. And a number of variety of different wedge lofts and bounce uh, reactions to the club. Well, we, we've added a, a couple of different ideas as far as the bounce is concerned. We, we had in the past put bounce numbers on the golf club, and that gives us a good indication of how the golf club is going to perform as it goes through the turf and allows us to kind of fit, you know, for a particular swing style. Typically, a steeper swinger is going to want a little bit more bounce on his club. Uh, a more shallow swinger can use any bounce he wants. But uh, what we've done is we've gone with three different bounce configurations in our higher lofted wedges. So the, the 60 and the 58, we have what we call a TS, an SS, or a WS, and that stands for a thin sole, a standard sole, and a wide sole. And as you can imagine, you know, the wider sole has the most bounce. It's the most forgiving for someone who has a steeper swing, or if you're playing from like soft sand or turf conditions, that's probably going to be your best option. If you're playing for very, very tight turf conditions, then you might want to look at our TS wedge. It has a very thin sole, and what that actually means is that the leading edge of the club stays a little bit closer to the ground more consistently as you open the club up. So uh, it, it's going to allow you to go ahead and, and play open face shots with the lead edge not getting too high and make it easy to get onto the golf ball. So we feel that we have some, some real benefits now with this new line. It gives some more options in the fitting process. And I, I'm sure if you go out to your, you know, your local fitter, uh, he's going to be able to help you find a wedge that's right for your game and you're going to be better. Super. Well, we appreciate uh, the insight to that. Look forward to when they start hitting retail and the guys get to put them in play. And uh, thank you for taking the time. My pleasure. Nice to be with you.